Hey Jammers, Snowy Claw here, and I'm here with a little update news. There's a lot of cool stuff in this update, but probably the most exciting is these adorable little sheeps. They just arrived to Jamma after we rescued them from the latest adventure, and they're quite floofy. And when they sleep, they kind of look like little loaves of bread, so it's pretty cute. We also have the exciting new rooster pets, which you can buy in the diamond shop. They are non-member too, which is a pretty cool bonus. Mine seems to have hit a kind of rebellious phase and has let his hair grow out pretty long. But he's quite a sweetheart and he loves his hang glider, so I'm, I'm gonna hold on to him. We also have the Year of the Rooster Party, which is the return of the Chinese New Year theme that AJHQ has seemed to follow. Last year was the Year of the Monkey, if I remember correctly. They have a lot of the same items, but instead, they have rooster themes. They still seem to have a jade monkey on the table though, so I think they forgot to update to the decorations this year. It seems I have been spotted! It is a really fun party to visit though, and if you go to the top of the party, there is a great view of the fireworks, which is pretty cool. A lot of jammers are happy that it's celebrating uh, culture outside American culture because that's all we really had in Jama so thus far. <laughs> There's also a fun new seasonal adventure called New Year's Fortune which is led by Liza and you have to collect each of the red envelopes that appear every two minutes around the area. It's actually pretty tough so I recommend getting a whole bunch of your friends involved and you guys can all search together. They have some pretty cool items in here as well. Sometimes you get gems, and then other times you get these exclusive items for the Chinese New Year, which I bet will not appear for, well, at least a year, so. <laughs> There's also, as with all recent updates, a new epic den to visit, the Winter Palace, which, if my hunch is correct, there may be a secret item in here somewhere. We just have to take a look. Hmm. Where could it be? Ooh, there's some pretty cool items in here. I'm not sure all of these are released. Let's see, ooh, those roses. Hmm. And that non-glitched Yeti rug. And that stained glass of Sir Gilbert's pretty cute. Whoa, look at that shark couch. Ooh, we found the secret shop, you guys! Now that's a pretty snazzy item, very sharp, not for younger jammers. And it comes in so many colors! Ooh, I think sharks need some more love. They are not a very appreciated animal around them all. It seems AJHQ is getting sneakier with these hidden shops, because this doesn't light up like shops in past dens. That's really interesting. Then they have to keep a sharper eye out for these hidden shops. I feel like AJHQ is just gonna get sneakier and sneakier. Oh no, it seems some jammers are turning to cannibalism at this point. Cannibalism is frowned upon in most societies. And that's about it for today's video everyone. I hope you enjoyed this latest update and be sure to stop by AJHQ's channel for the latest live stream. I'm a little guest in that one too if you can hear me. Be sure to purchase your shark couches before they go out of stores because you never know when these dens will just poof disappear. Let me know if you guys like the sheep or if you're wondering where the sheep's tails are because that's a popular question right now. Did the phantoms take them or are they underneath all that fluff? The world may never know. <laughs> Happy jamming everyone, and hope to see you in Jamal!